All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are doing another episode of the recent runner technical analysis videos looking at Ocean, Bio, and Lunar. Man, I really was looking at this. I saw it hit our line. I actually set an alert for the, the eight moving average and this bad boy gaps up over that and my line. I was so disappointed. I personally did not chase the dragon. I wasn't in this day to day, but yeah, a beautiful day to say the least, but what matters more than today really is tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna do what we always do. We're gonna give us a reason to believe if this will sustain, or if it's gonna do what it's been doing and kind of dropping after the big pops, right? So we'll take a look at all the info. Lunar, honestly, I just looked away from it and I feel really bad, so. Um, but yeah, we will, we will get into both of them shortly. Real quick, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how the things are setting up shortly. Um, short term, sorry. We have our five moving averages, these horizontal support and resistance lines I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. But even if you don't, just thank you so, so much for watching these, okay? And then, hey, if you disagree with anything I got to say, throw it in the comments, please, 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 okay? So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, and I normally don't do this, but I'm gonna turn to another stock I literally talked about yesterday, all right? We're gonna quickly look at Excella, all right? And yesterday I did say, look, there was no real technical reason for this thing to bounce up, and hey, we get a 13 burger loss today, right? So with this, what I do like is, look, there was actually a technical reason for the bounce. Obviously, 123% is ridiculously, ridiculously huge, right? But nonetheless, it, it was technically justified top of this candle, right? This is a really strong support line. That's obviously why we drew it. I think it was last week. I don't even remember. Well, I guess two weeks ago, right? Almost two and a half weeks ago. Um, yeah, almost two weeks ago. So whatever. Um, that's why I drew and it did its job right. And like I started this video, I swear I was ready for this thing. I had set an alert at a, let me know if it goes up a little bit. I set an alert right here. I obviously had an alert at my 822 and we, we literally open gap up super hard, right? And look, I use the phrase, don't chase the dragon kind of often, all right? I'm pretty sure it's like a heroin thing where like, like you, you can never get as high as you want. There was a really funny South Park episode about that too. Um, in stocks, look, I'm telling you, there are not that many highs as good as hitting 123. All right. Honestly, the single best day I had was like almost 75%. I've only done it once, you know, and it, it was a, during the time when the markets were way better, right? It wasn't during this like downward horizontal market. It really was like a few years ago, right when I learned technical analysis, I was just a little extra gambly and hardcore because I just like learned some stuff and it was cool. And, 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 I've at least stopped trying to chase the dragon because honestly, you end up losing more money. What really matters and how I started this video, it's, it's more about tomorrow than it is today. Because look, we said the same thing right here when we made all these lines. If it closed anywhere up here, it, this whole thing down would have kept going up and I'm telling you we would have it would have been a really really different video You know what? I mean it, it really is about the next day where it closes this actually wasn't that bad a, a second day But like yeah, it wasn't good enough and obviously it hurt right so that that's essentially what we're focusing on today Okay, and it's funny. I actually I have no new lines at all to draw the same lines We drew from roughly two weeks ago are still the main ones okay I'm gonna be setting some new alerts I'll tell you that much but let's focus on today real quick okay one two we broke three moving averages on top of gapping over two we literally smashed all five moving averages on a single day I've been making these videos for like seven months give or take I have not seen this on any stock for real, all right? Like, eight, I've seen three, 
I don't think I've seen four, but like I'm not that confident that I haven't. I know nothing has broken three plus a gap up or literally just all five at once, right? And as I'm saying that, I see that that literally just happened right here and I quickly feel really dumb and I'm laughing and I hope you are too. But dude, this is no joke, all right? Like all five in one day is just silly. This is the second time this stock has done it. Like it, it, it's crazy. I'm, I'm literally just like, I'm, I'm a little flabbergasted. There's no other word for it, right? So same thing, all right? Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. If you're going to break two of them, I need a good thing. If you're going to break all five, yeah, my expectations are real high. This thing cannot close any lower than 12 bucks tomorrow. If it, that's roughly 50% of this one. And yeah, if you do not close up here, you, you for sure that's fake. And let's be honest, breaking all five, I actually probably want you to close over 1311. You know what I mean? Like I, I just, I very much, I need monster, monster confirmation. Couple things to say though, we couldn't break this 1080. The day ended much, much close, sorry, the day almost ended much, much closer to the 1080 number than we actually closed at. We're, we're at 1050 for like what seemed like, and I'm actually gonna go to the minute. I don't think I, re I rarely, yeah, look at that. That's what I thought. This thing was dancing around 180 for most of the close and then the last couple, just fell right that's definitely not what we want to see right but um couple i'm setting a few alerts here okay and then we'll talk about the bad i'm going to start with the good because you know i love we're 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 optimistic generally first alert is going to be 1051 why is it not the 49 that i normally do i generally set my alert a penny higher right look 10 in my head whole numbers generally are these like fake walls, all right? A whole number, a 50 cent mark, a 75, a 25, these like normal numbers, I don't like them. So break 1050, um, I'll like 1051. For sure right here, I only care about a penny. Break that 1080 and I for sure wanna know. 1081, let me know. And then again, 1312, give me a penny over that thing, right? So at, at each break, I'm gonna wanna know for sure. And look, I got a full-time job. I don't know if I could do anything at all of the movements, right? But hopefully between all that, I'll be ready for any sort of morning, sh like just rush. And yeah, I'll get out of bed and, and, and get going for that, right? Literally, all of mine just were, were I don't, I don't, I didn't like how high up it opened. And by the time it dropped, honestly, I was starting my work day and like things had hot, like I just, I'm a little sad I didn't get in this. I'm not pretending I'm not, but um, again, tomorrow could be really good and it might even sustain, right? It might not bring this big a percent, but hey, I would be real happy with four greens in a row up because because that's what sustaining means, right? Let's talk about the bad. So what would bad look like? So the two lines, so, okay, you see the, the 200 in purple is at 96 and then the 100 in blue is at 76. I'm looking at the at the box over there. I would be very, very worried if this thing slips 975. 974, might be a very quick drop to 920, right? Because again, when if you look, the the 100 in blue is 76 and then the 50 is at 23. That's why I think if you lose these two, you're gonna quickly drop here. From there, you might be coming back down to, to 820 give or take, you know what I mean? This was definitely a, a strong support today. It's still a really important one because it's 50% of this and basically the bottom of this, like this is important, right? Obviously, if you lose this, I don't think it'll go much lower than these. Um, we can almost set like 675 as the floor. But again, that's that's definitely a huge percent down. I guess I'll draw that. 640, all right, we'll, we'll put that there. So um, yeah, really, hopefully we don't lose these two and we're still in play. Let's talk about down here real quick, okay? Big volume day, hard drop. Big volume day, hard drop. Big volume day, 
this volume needs to hold. I do, we're at 50 million. I don't want to be 20 million or lower. I don't want to lose more than 50% volume. I, I talk about volume often and, and I don't want another drop that would be bad. However, one thing I do like seeing is volumes actually still getting bigger. You know what I mean? Like this volume was bigger than this one. This volume was bigger than this one. I mean, this thing had some like cancer news and stuff. Like there, there's definitely some interesting things happening here, all right? End of the day, you know I'm here to talk about the charts. I'm here to talk about breaking lines. And, and that's what I care about more than anything. Because like, look, again, cancer curing stuff is next level and quickly will be worth more than ten dollars there's a lot of trials that are going to happen between now and getting approved there might be a rejection or two that will quickly destroy price like there's a lot that goes into trading bio stocks so just keep that in mind otherwise we're, we're really looking for a silly break of 13 that's that's really the goal here so um, I obviously wanted to talk about Lunar. I went a little longer than I wanted to here. I don't think there's any point about talking about the weeklies because, dude, these weeklies are still like we're it, it, it's still going way too crazy. Let, let's let let all this silliness pass and then maybe we'll start talking about this a little more long term. But for me, this is very much a for lack of words, meme stock that's either going to rock it really nicely or keep tanking. You know what I mean? So um, that's really more what we're watching here. So I'll make Lunar on the next video. You know I appreciate your time so, so much.